Okay, so here's an update on the RSX build. I didn't really get much, too much done today. As far as with the car, I got nothing done, but, uh, well, kind of, I did, like, right here. So, I got these pieces, and I had them cut. Here's, here's my dimensions, so you can build this, and let me see. Okay, yeah. So the length and the width don't really matter. It's just 18 gauge. And those are the four pieces you need. And I'll explain how they're going to go. The only thing I did to the car today was cut, like grind this. And I use a straight edge to grind it straight, perfectly straight. See that, that edge right there isn't going to work. I have to fix it. So I'm learning as I go along. So these are the, the pieces that you need. I'm going to try to do this with my, my camera. So, um, so this right here, I'm trying to fix it is this right here is going to get, is going to get welded. It's hard to get a view on there. It's going to get welded onto here like this, and then it's going to be level with the top. And the reason, put that over there. The reason why it's going to do that is because, look, this thing moves. It's it's super, look at that. It's weak. It'll break. So, um, yeah, the sheet metal is going to have to go across like this. And let me move this piece out of the way so you can see how I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do this whole build. Okay, what sheet metal is this? This is a longer piece. Okay, yeah. So I got, oh, I was going to say I got these cut out. It was 59 bucks. They cut, they cut them wrong. They came out half or an inch to half an inch too short. Um, I told them, I said, make sure you don't go too short because I got pretty close with the measurements. And I got it at, what was it? Is it Supermarket? Metal Supermarket, I think is the name of it. It was like 59 bucks for all this. It was cut. It's probably $40 worth of steel. Still is high quality, it's oiled, no rust whatsoever, so. Okay, so, let me fix this so you can see. So that's gonna go over this area, cause I'm building it in sections, so. Once that piece is laid across, this piece is gonna go across right here. Um, this hits so it doesn't, it doesn't lay perfectly flat, so I have to, I have to notch this. I have to put a notch there so that the metal, fits over the top like this and then it's going to be welded in so that's going to be welded and then it's going to be welded there seam sealed and then painted okay let me get rid of this one so you can see the next phase so this right here is just a, another piece of sheet metal but it's um, smaller See, when you guys do this, you maybe you can figure out something better because after you do something once, it becomes a lot easier. All right, this doesn't go here. I'm just putting it there. So, yeah, this was a smaller piece. That one in the back. This goes right here. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Oh, I don't want to cut that. Okay. I don't know, let that fall on me. This thing's like a razor blade. Okay, so this piece right here is gonna get built. And once I see how you can't, it, there's a gap there. I have to level this out completely so that it's um, even with the edge, like all the way across. But yeah, it's gonna, it's basically gonna be welded like that. And then the sheet metal. I'm gonna go over the top of it like I'll show you so it's gonna be braced on both sides but um, just give you an idea cuz I have that grommet there so I can't mock it up uh, perfect so basically it's just gonna be I'm just leaning it in there like that it, it's gonna be flat on the end so sheet metal here and it's going to be welded in like that. And then any gap, big gaps there are going to be seam sealed. And then you're basically, you're basically going to have still an open right here. 
So this is gonna actually. So this is gonna be cut off from the car compartment, cut off from the compartment basically, and then this is gonna be the area for the gas tank. But it's gonna be all. Oh, see, this is gonna be sealed off. This, this can be sealed off. That's gonna be sealed off. Then the gas tanks gonna be right here. Sheet metal is gonna go over it um, because. Because the gas tank's gonna kind of be like this, I'm gonna have to cut a circle out right here so the gas tank can sit up. And then I'm gonna have to cut a hole here and raise, raise up the metal in a circle so that it clears the the top of the of the fuel tank on there, the housing, the fuel tank housing. And that's that's how it's gonna be set up. It's gonna take me a little bit to do this because I got one of these uh, paint stripper wheels and the paint stripper wheel I'm gonna grind all the metal I have to make it real clean um, welds are so much better when they're clean this is not easy to weld because I don't have gas right now I have flux core and flux core is a lot harder to weld on and it's dirty um, I just don't have the money right now it's like 300 bucks for a tank I just, I'm out of money because I'm spending it on tools and little stuff like this but i'm gonna start welding tomorrow and that's it for today